Hello YouTube! It's been quite a while since our last update and that's because we've been quite busy preparing the manufacturing of the Balanduino robot that uh, was featured on Kickstarter previously this year. But now I'm back with a short video on the other projects that we are uh, working on currently and one of them is on this LPC 4088 uh, development board, this Maya board, and I've connected a 7 inch touch display, currently no touch functionality though, but it's an 800 by 480 pixel display, which is just connected through our breakout board, so it's only for driving the backlight and then all the signals are just interconnected. But the great thing about this board is that it contains this uh, LPC4088 um, microprocessor from NXP and it's a 120 megahertz processor and the board features uh, some SDRAM as well connected to the microprocessor as it supports this uh, SDRAM to be uh, directly connected to the memory bus and then it also features a built-in LCD controller so you can use this uh, RAM as a frame buffer. So all this graphics rendering is done very quickly compared to other displays which you connect and which we shown in uh, quite a few videos so far uh, that you connect parallelly um, to a microprocessor but this time the display controller is built inside so you don't have to write the pixels to another external controller you simply write to the specific RAM address and this example is uh, simply a uh, 3D matrix example where I can use a potentiometer to turn the orientation of the 3D view and in this case, I've simply I'm simply rendering a sine wave, uh, but a sine wave represented in 3D space. Uh, and then I'm just doing some uh, timing of this sine wave, like multiplexing it with another sine wave, uh, due to the the time that has been that has passed. And then afterwards, finally, doing some matrix uh, rotation and calculations to. Uh, be able to draw these small circles according to the position of the space so the further uh, behind they are the smaller they are and so on. Another project that uh, we've been working on is on the STM32F4 uh, or it could be any kind of microcontroller uh, with a uh, DSP functionality because this project is a sound project and that's also why you see those LEDs toggling at the moment it, because it it recognizes my sound as a whistle which I'll be coming back to in a minute uh, but this project uh, is simply connected to my headset which has a microphone this microphone though is connected to my computer that amplifies the signal and sends it out on this line um, cable and this is then fed into the uh, an analog input of the STM32 with 4 uh, by doing some DC biasing first to uh, adjust the signal from an uh, a reference of 0 volt to a reference of uh, 1.8 uh, about 1.8 so the half of 3.3 .3 volt and then that signal is fed into the uh, the ADC input and on the processor itself I'm doing some uh, FFT analysis of this uh, signal sampling at 16 kilohertz uh, into a uh, buffer of 128 samples then doing some FFT analysis on this and finding the max value so the value that is loudest at the moment finding that frequency and then doing some calculations to see if there is going a, if a person is whistling so let's try this out by uh, by me whistling so the orange will be the up 
if your whistle if your whistle goes up and the blue one will be down if your whistle goes down let's see if it works So as you can see, it recognizes different kinds of whistles, both uh, the high tone and low tone, so no matter which kind of person you are, but as you can see, when I speak, it also recognizes that, so there's not enough filtering in the algorithm that yet, but it's, all, it's only just a quick project, um, having fun with the FFT analysis. So yeah, that was two of the projects we've been working on, the the past time, but a lot of our time is spent with the Bell Arduino development and also moving to this new location where we got ourselves a, uh, a new uh, desktop, a new um, spot with the uh, electronics compartments as well. But that's uh, about it for now. Uh, if anyone is interested in uh, either of the codes, please uh, leave a comment. Or hopefully I'll be I will soon be releasing a blog post about it as well. Thank you for watching.